Uh, good morning, good afternoon or good evening. This is Roger Gilbert. I'm at the World Aquaculture Society's 2022 event here in Singapore. It's the last day of the uh, conference come Expo and I'm on the Expo floor and I'm pleased to say I'm on the company of the one, the company one from Australia and I'm talking to Dr. Richard Nucky. He's the uh, director and general manager of the company and he's going to talk to us about the species Groper. His company uh, is in the breeding, the hatchery and breeding of fingerlings for Gropers uh, for three species in particular. Uh, welcome Richard. Uh, can, you, can you tell us a little bit about uh, your operation and the Gropers uh, that you're breeding? Thanks Roger. Um, thanks for the introduction and yes we're based in Queensland in northern Australia and we produce uh, three species at the moment of different groupers. So collectively they're known as groupers, but our focus is mainly on, if we can see the giant grouper is the main one that we're producing, and also focusing now on coral trout, which everybody is interested in because it's a very high value grouper species. And a new one that we're bringing online is a speckled blue grouper. In Australia we call this one cattle dog cod because it looks like similar colours to the cattle dog that we have. So we produce a fingerlings of each of these species and what differentiates our fingerlings is that they are specific pathogen free. So we, we isolate them and we check for all the diseases that they're likely to have. So when they leave our facility they are clean and really ideally suited for coming into somebody's rat system so you can keep out all the diseases that are most critical for the groupers. And what is the value that you offer over just a, a, another hatchery for instance? Yeah, there's a number of different things. Firstly, obviously the, um, the uh, disease free and the specific pathogen free is a really important differentiation and we're probably the only company offering that for the groupers. We also uh, differentiate because we produce groupers for 12 months of the year, so we don't rely on the natural spawning. We are able to have our photothermal control of our broodstock population, so they're able to spawn every month, you know, all, all year. And that is really important if you're having a, trying to stock a rest system that needs regular introduction of new stock. And all our fish are spawned naturally, so we don't use hormones, we're not forcing the spawning. So the quality of the eggs is higher to start with, and then all the, the efforts we put into checking. As you can see, we do clear and staining of all our cohorts, so we check for deformities or malformations, we check for swim bladder inflation. So the stock that we produce and have available for, for farmers is a, the highest quality possible. And is the export market growing in, in terms of demand? We have, um, at the moment we're supplying within Australia to some farms because we're trying to develop this. It's a relatively new industry for Australia, but very established in Southeast Asia and group is a high value and, and well regarded all through the region. So we are selling to in Hong Kong and Taiwan mostly. So we're looking now to diversify into some of the other markets. So Singapore is a natural extension of that, so we're here to explore options. And what of mortality? I mean, are these, uh, uh, are you able to reduce mortality through the practices that you've introduced? We provide the opportunity for the farmer to have very low mortality rates. Of course, it always depends on how they looked after once they arrive at a facility, but we would expect that our fish are 95% or more survival on receipt of those fish. And so then if, if good um, farm practices and quarantine is part of that industry, then they should expect a very high survival right through to market size and much better than other available stocks. And how have you found the show? Oh, it's been really interesting and really positive. This is the first trade show that we've had a booth at. Um, because previously we've been selling within our company structure, um, so now we're sort of looking to, to bring on new industry players. And we've had a lot of interest from people because it's quite um, unique to be able to supply the specific pathogen free stock. Well, thank you very much, and uh, good luck with the rest of the show and your marketing in this part of the world. Thanks, Roger. Thanks thank for the time. Much.